Ahoy there, matey! Today is day one of Goose Feathers Week. Our crazy, wild-eyed, floopy boy. And the scene that my sister Rachel's gonna be drawing today is of Goosepaw being overwhelmed by prophecies during his first visit to the Moonstone. And let me tell you, these cats do not know how to chill. They spill all the tea, dropping prophecies that Goosepaw could not even begin to understand the meaning of until he like reads up until sunset of the new prophecy series. I'll read this crazy scene to you now. It's on pages 131 through 134 of Goosefeather's Curse. Goosepaw lay with his nose getting colder and colder as the cats beside him drifted off to sleep. He listened to their breathing slow down and felt the air grow still. He sighed. This stone was far too uncomfortable to go to sleep on. His paws tingled from walking so far. He opened his eyes a chink. Above him, the crystal glowed from the light of the half moon pouring down from the tiny gap in the roof. Goosepaw could see the shapes of the sleeping cats clearly on either side of him. Reed Thistle's apprentice Sagepaw stirred in her sleep, her white fur glowing like rock. Goosepaw sighed. This was totally boring. He was getting cold, and he wasn't sleepy at all. He wondered how much trouble he would get into if he snuck back up the tunnel. Goosepaw. Goosepaw. Goosepaw stiffened. Someone was whispering. Had one of the apprentices woken up? Goosepaw. Goosepaw. A pair of eyes gleamed like green stars in the shadows beside the moonstone. Two more orbs appeared, blinking. And then more and more, until Goosepaw was surrounded by cats staring at him. They started to move towards him. A mass of shifting pelts turning to shades of gray and silver by the moonlight. We've, We've been, been waiting, waiting for you, you Goosepaw, Goosepaw, breathed one of them. A long time. Hissed another. We watched you being bored. And now you must listen to us. We have so much to tell you. Goosepaw took a step back, flattening his ears. There were so many of you. Uh, can you speak one at a time, please? A black cat loomed in his face. Thunder Clan is doomed. There will be a cat who burns like fire. Trust no one, not even your clan mates. Too many hearts are fickle. Beware of a striped face and snapping teeth. Goosepaw tried to edge towards the tunnel. Stop! He begged. You, you're scaring me. He, he looked towards the medicine cats. They were still sleeping, still lost in the dreams of Star Clan. But which cats were those around him now? And why hadn't they waited for him in his dreams? So much water, more than any cat has seen before. You will find friends in unexpected places. Listen to what Midnight tells you. The lake will run red with the blood of brothers. Goosepaw stubbed his toe on the entrance to the tunnel. With a yelp, he turned and fled his way up the steep stone. Shadow Clan will soar above you all. Leopard and Tiger will feast on your bones. Rivers of blood, washing away everything the clans have known. Goosepaw ignored the pain in his feet as he raced up the tunnel. He could feel soft air on his whiskers, and a few moments later, he burst into the open. <sighs> Flanks heaving and gasping for breath, he stumbled to a halt beside a pile of rocks and let the silence of the night wash over him. The Star Clan cats had stayed in the tunnel. He was alone. Goosepaw? What are you doing? Goosepaw spun around. Cloudberry was standing at the mouth of the tunnel, glaring at him. You can't leave the Moonstone before the ceremony's over. I still have to name you as my apprentice before Star Clan. Come on, the others are waiting. Star Clan. Star Clan knows who I am already. Goosepaw panted. They. they came to me. All of them. With so many prophecies. I. I couldn't listen to them all. I was so frightened. They. they told me that terrible things are going to happen. He broke off into a wail. Loudberry walked over and pressed her shoulder against him. It's all right, young one. Calm down. We'll have to figure out a way for you to control these visions. 
Goosepaws stared wildly at the she-cat. They're, they're not visions. These cats are actually here, all around us. Then you'll have to find a way to ignore them, Cloudberry meowed. There's more to being a medicine cat than talking with Star Clan. There are herbs and ways of healing to learn, and omens to find. The other cats must see you preparing to be a medicine cat in the ways that they expect. Remember, no one must know about your... your... gift. She said the last word reluctantly. This... this isn't a gift, Kuspa thought. I don't want to have all these other cats around me. I don't want to be a medicine cat. I just want to be a warrior. He lifted his head and gazed to the star sky. Find some other cat to talk to, Star Clan. This is insane. I don't know what these cats were thinking. Why would they suddenly spring all these prophecies on Goosepa? Are they trying to melt his mind? I mean, seriously. Out of all the prophecies that they give, only a Poffle could actually apply to anything that Goosefeather personally could have any influence over in his lifespan. Why does he need to know anything about Midnight the Badger? That doesn't come into play until the new Prophecy series. You know, most medicine cats only ever receive like one major prophecy in their life. So I can see why Goosefeather's abilities are a curse. Having all this insight and knowledge and yet, knowing that if he tells anyone what he knows, he could seriously mess up their mind as well. This is something he must suffer alone. Ugh, no wonder he loses his mind later. But really, why? Why was he given this gift? Uh, well, curse. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what you think. Does anyone know more about why our Goosey Boy has these strange abilities? Is it just to torment and torture his mind? Who chose to do this to him? If you know anything more about this, then let me know down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's drawing and theory. Make sure to check out the video on the side of our last speed paint. And click that subscribe button and little bell icon so that you can always be notified when we upload so that you can be part of hashtag early clan. Down below in the description will be links to our eBay and Etsy stores where cool merch items are available for purchase. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon for the next speed paint. Bye bye